Seventeen-year-old Marcus Walker has been sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Jermaine Cools. The unarmed schoolboy was brutally attacked during a street brawl in West Croydon in November 2021. At 14 years old, Jermaine was the youngest victim of knife crime in London that year. CCTV footage shows Jermaine here on the right fall to the ground. As he lies there defenceless, Walker pulls a machete out of his coat and stabs Jermaine seven times. A member of the public helps Jermaine to a car to take him to hospital, where he would die from his injuries. Marcus Walker is seen running home still carrying the weapon. He was found at a friend's house by police six weeks later. This is yet another case involving the senseless murder of a young teenager committed for reasons that no mature adult can fathom. There have been many further murders of young teenagers since Jermaine's death. And nothing seems to deter the likes of you from going onto the streets of London and elsewhere, armed with lethal weapons, easily acquired on the internet, intent upon serious violence, with no thought for the consequences for the victims, their innocent loved ones, nor for the consequences for themselves. At the time of the killing, Walker, who was then 16, was already on bail for carrying a large knife. He had been caught in possession of a knife by police on three separate occasions before Jermaine's murder. I have seen photographs of all those horrific knives, which are sadly typical of those which these courts see on an almost daily basis. There is absolutely no legitimate reason for carrying those weapons, and your possession of them significantly aggravates the seriousness of the offence. A court order banning Walker from being identified due to his young age was lifted after a joint application was made by the Press Association, Times, Sun and Daily Mail. He is the first child murderer in England or Wales to be sentenced on television, again due to a legal challenge by the media. Judge Sarah Munro said the need to deter others from committing similar crimes was a key reason in lifting the reporting restriction. Walker's minimum term is 19 years, but he will only ever be released if the parole board consider that he no longer poses a risk of harm to the public. You kill my son. My son can never come back. And you only get 19 years. Come on, man. But that's a joke. You know? He's giving other youths the opportunity to go and do what they want to kill and they'll just get nothing out of it. You know? So I think, that, I think that's a joke. Walker's sentencing comes after a bank holiday weekend where two more young people died in separate stabbings in London. I find it deeply distressing that I'm standing here today talking about Jermaine and what happened to him 15 years after we, we, we spoke about Ben. Patrick Green is the chief executive of the Ben Kinsella Trust, the anti-knife crime charity named after a 16-year-old boy who was fatally stabbed in June 2008. The sentence has got to fit the crime. It's important for uh, justice for victims and it's important for confidence in the criminal justice system. But we've got to do more than just lock people away for this crime. We've got to stop the crime happening in the first place. That's why prevention and education uh, are so important in terms of tackling this issue. We shouldn't be losing talented young lives to knife crime. This has got to stop and it's got to stop now. Jermaine's mother has issued an emotional plea to tackle knife crime, saying it can be anyone's child.